Hi, I'm John Carlo Hamner. I'm the director of scuba here at Camp Emerald Bay for the Boy Scouts of America. Um, our dive program started uh, just before the early 2000s. It was originally run out of what we call the sail locker with uh, one instructor and later one dive master joined them. Uh, it was run with a bunch of old gear that was donated and wasn't up to par. They had about six tanks and they ran an entire summer program with two people. Um, today is 2014 and we have over 30 sets of regs, a ton of BCDs, and a ton of wetsuits. We have a very, very large program here. Um, currently, we have 12 professional divers, uh, six instructors, five dive masters, and a part-time instructor and boat captain that goes back and forth. So we do a lot of extra programs that weren't offered back then. We run four open water, uh, three open water classes and an advanced class every week as well as guiding DSDs or Discover Scuba, Discover Local <coughs> Diving for Certified Divers, as well as specialty courses. Um, over the course of the summer, more than 150 kids will get open water certified here, and anywhere from 30 to 50 kids will get their advanced open water certification. We tend to certify a handful of rescue divers and dive masters um, throughout the course of the summer, and any time, depending on the summer, anywhere from 600 to 1,000 guided dives. Um, one of the one of the well-known scuba camps is uh, Florida Sea Base, and in comparison to them, we do almost the exact same numbers, sometimes higher, sometimes lower, but pretty much on par with Florida Sea Base. But they run a year-long program. They have two liveaboard dive boats and lots of gear at their disposal. We run a, uh, a nine-week program with what we have pretty much in this room here, and we do exactly the same numbers as they do for, for a fraction of the time. So we're a very busy shop. Um, out here. Other than that, um, one of the key things that makes us different is um, I set very str stringent conditions on safety. So instructors ratios are cut in half for Discover Scuba Dives. Um, every class and every diver will never enter the water without a professional with them. Classes usually have two professionals with them, an instructor as well as a dive master. So we have 12 staff here, but they're always in the water and we're making sure everybody is supervised by a professional diver. Um, it really limits the risk on, and, and helps everyone be a little more safe in the water. Um, other than that, the unique part about Camp Emerald Bay is not only that it's a Boy Scout camp, um, and we primarily run Boy Scout programs here, but we have uh, Doctor's Cove, which is a approved confined water site by Patty. So we teach a lot of our confined water in the ocean because it has pool-like conditions. And what that does for the students is over the course of their certification, they develop more experience in an ocean environment, which usually makes them more, uh, uh, which usually makes them a stronger diver at the end of their certification course. So you're getting 14 and 15 year olds that are going through certification at the end of the week, they're having 15 or 16 open water dives, even though a good portion of those may be counted for confined water, uh, but they're still doing it in open water. So they're still dealing with the cold, the surge, you know, they see fish, they see kelp, and they see all those things. So they have a little more experience when they leave here. And it's a week-long program. It's not like a two- or three-day certification course. They start Sunday when they step off the boat, and they end Saturday morning when they leave. So they're diving for a long period of time there, which gives them more water time, which is always more beneficial. And you guys have small boats, too, so you guys go to other parts of the island? Yeah, we have a 22-foot uh, Boston Whaler that's a six-pack, and we have a U.S. Coast Guard that captains that on Thursdays and Fridays. So we can have our advanced class do boat dives as well as uh, scouts and scouters, scout masters who come and want to do guided boat dives off the boat. We do locations like Blue Caverns and Ship Rock and Arrow Point and other uh, locations along the West End. So it's definitely nice to have that boat. It also allows us to teach a couple of the cool specialties from that boat. So. Cool, cool. And a CSUCI alumni yeah. at the helm. Look at that. Oh my God. That's it. Awesome. All right. Thanks, man.